Yes, you can cancel your antivirus software subscription right now. Here's why. You don't need to pay for antivirus software anymore. The reason? Microsoft Defender. And the best news of all? It's free. Microsoft Defender used to be a joke when it came to security, especially antivirus security, but that's not true any longer. In fact, the Fall 2021 AV Comparatives Review gave Microsoft Defender a respectable 99.7% protection rating, placing it high among other antivirus software competitors. The Fall 2021 AV Test Product Review and Certification Report gave Defender a top product certification and showed a 99.9% .9 to 100% protection rating. And the Fall 2021 SE Labs report gave Defender a AAA award for its protection ratings. So there's no reason why you can't use Microsoft Defender as your primary antivirus software solution. To enable it, come down here to the Start menu, type in Windows Security, and choose this Windows Security app from the menu. Then choose Virus and Threat Protection. Here it'll show you your primary software solution for antivirus, and down at the bottom, there's an option here for Microsoft Defender, where I can enable it for periodic scanning. Now, what I want to do is get rid of McAfee and have Microsoft Defender become the primary application for antivirus software. In order to do that, I need to remove McAfee from this computer. And each application is going to work a little bit different, so you'll need to check out how you're supposed to uninstall yours. In my case, I'm going to go to the Start menu, type in Control Panel, and go into Programs and Features. Scroll down here to McAfee Live Safe, and I'm going to choose Uninstall. I'm going to check this box and remove all the files for this program. And this is just a reminder. I need to make sure that I cancel any active subscription before I do the uninstall. And you'll need to restart your computer. After a reboot, let's come down here to the start and go into our Windows Security app one more time and open up Virus and Threat Protection. As you can see, Windows Defender has now taken over this menu and there's various options to set it and run your antivirus software. If you come in here to scan options, you can see that it's set to a quick scan by default. You can change that to full scan, do a custom scan, or even set it up to run an offline scan if you have a particularly difficult threat impacting your computer. There's also options here to manage the settings and it's set right now to do real-time protection, cloud protection, submit data to Microsoft, tamper protection, and you can also control folder access. And I recommend clicking on this option and enabling this so that you're protected from ransomware. You can also add exclusions to the antivirus scans so that programs that may be blocked by Microsoft Defender are excluded from that list. Otherwise, the default settings work really well and it will scan your system and do updates automatically with the default settings. There's now no need to pay a subscription to other antivirus software services when you can get robust antivirus protection built into Windows. Microsoft Defender is available for Mac, iOS, and Android devices as well. Microsoft Defender is going to be available for small businesses too. At the time of this video, Microsoft has a version of Defender in preview for businesses with up to 300 employees for a small fee. You'll be able to provide endpoint protection for all your devices soon and manage it all from a centralized console. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.